So let's look at example one on these day 11 notes. So we have this circle uh, and these points in the circle are B, C, and E, D. Well, actually, we have, we have a chord, chord B, C. We have chord E, D. And again, guys, chords are the line segments across the points of the circle. And then we have this chord connecting these two B, A, D. Well, A is the center of the circle, so B, D is the diameter. This is cutting the circle in half. Going back to the notes about alternate interior angles, let me, um, let me just real quick. For those of you that did not get this lesson, and that was a bunch of you because this was pretty early in the year, Again, if you have two parallel lines, just like this, and you have this diagonal, this is called a transversal, this diagonal line here, is cutting in between these two, then the alternate interior angles are equal in measure. Meaning, if this is the angle that I'm looking at here, the alternate angle is going to be on the other side of that transversal line and then down the street. So these two, are equal and these two are equal measure. So if B was 50 degrees, this B would be 50 degrees. If this A, which is not really an A anymore, if this was 20 degrees, that would be 20 degrees. That's what alternate interior angles are. <clears throat> That's what we have right here. BC and ED, these are two parallel chords and they're being cut by this transversal. So alternate interior angles would tell us that if this is 65 degrees, then I'm gonna jump across the fence and then go down the street. So this is my alternate interior angle to this, which means if that's 65 degrees, this is going to be 65 degrees as well. So what's the question you've been asking? Example one, find the measure of arc CD. Okay, well, the measure of arc CD, so it's asking us to find this piece right here. This is arc CD. So, <clears throat> we have to find a relationship. Well, here we have arc CD, and at these two endpoints is forming at an angle, it, it, they're, they're connecting at point B. Well, we know that this angle B right here, we know this is 65 degrees because this is the alternate interior angle to this guy right here. So this is 65, the alternate interior angle is equal, so that's 65. Angle C, so let's just say uh, the measure of angle C, B, D, C, B, D, that is 65 degrees. Well, thinking back to last week or whenever, I, I guess it was before spring break, this is the inscribed angle, right? <clears throat> the inscribed angle is half of what my central angle is. Well, if I had a central angle, it's not drawn, but you can draw a central angle from A to C and then A to D. This arc is going to be, and again, guys, this is from a previous lesson, this minor arc is going to equal this central angle. And then on top of that, we know that the central angle is two times the size of this. So if this is, if the measure of angle CBD is 65 degrees, what is this arc CD? Well, my inscribed angle is going to be half of what this is. So the measure of arc CD, I might have said that wrong. I can't remember how I just described that. But what I'm about to do is for sure uh, right. The measure of arc CD is equal to, it's going to be twice the measure of the inscribed angle. Because again, this is two times smaller than my central angle. And my central angle is the same exact measurement as the arc that connects the two points. So the measure of angle 
sorry, the measure of arc CD is going to be 2 times the 65 degrees that I found. So 2 times 65, well 60 plus 60 is 120, so that's going to be 130 degrees. So guys, we started here. This was 65 degrees. Because of alternate interior angles, we know that, well, these are two parallel lines, so the alternate interior means this is 65 degrees. And then after you get that, you just multiply this number by 2, because 2 times the inscribed angle is going to be the, the measure of that arc. So part B, um, I know that was a lot. You can rewind and pause these videos, fortunately, but sort of the, the main thing that you need to know is this arc CD is two times the size of the inscribed angle. So angle B is 65. That means the arc is going to be two times 65. <clears throat> so part B says find the measure of arc BC. So we know the measure of arc CD. We know that is 130 degrees. We know the measure of arc CD is 130 because we just found that. Well, <clears throat> A is the center of the circle, so BD basically is cutting this circle in half. So it looks just like that. We know that a full circle is 360 degrees, right? So if I start at C and go all the way around, that's 360 degrees. So half of 360, so if I just cut that in half across the diameter, that's 180 degrees. So what is the measure of arc BC? So now I'm trying to find arc BC, which is this guy. Well, it's going to be the total 180 degrees, because again, I, I, I can just ignore this part because this is my diameter. I'm cutting the circle in half. Okay, half of a circle is 180. <clears throat> so basically, to find the measure of arc BC, I need to take 180 degrees minus, minus DC, and that's going to leave me with BC. So to find this arc BC, it's going to be 180 degrees. 180 degrees is the total for half the circle. 180 minus what I just found at 130 and that's going to equal 50 degrees. So the measure of arc BC that guy is 50 degrees. And that makes sense, right? Because 50 degrees plus 130 is 180 and from B to D this is half the circle so that's 180 degrees. And let me run through how much time is on this video? Let me stop there and I'll do example two on a separate video.